done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. No. Please, God, send your Holy Spirit to save my son. Breakthrough is the inspirational story of a St. Louis teenager who fell through the ice in January of 2015 and was pronounced dead for 45 minutes, who made a miraculous recovery in the emergency room because his mother used the power of prayer. And here joining me is the star of Breakthrough, Chrissy Metz, and producer Devon Franklin. Hey guys! Hey yes. Jeff! Hey Jeff! Now, Devon, uh, I had the opportunity to talk to you last year for your animated film you produced, The Star, so uh, that was a, a great opportunity, and thanks for talking to me again today. Thank you so much. Thank you. We were just talking about that. And Chrissy, uh, I met you at the Critics' Choice Awards last year, and I just wanted to say you were just the sweetest. So many people wanted your time and, and demanding of you, and you were just a trooper. So thank you so much for being so kind and sweet. Oh, well, I'm glad. You didn't see the other side. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Oh, Chrissy, I can't imagine you being anything but sweet. But for Breakthrough, you know, we deal with some really intense emotional scenes in this film, you know, about a, a teenage boy who was dead, who was brought back to life through the power of prayer and, and a miracle. For such an emotional role for you, Chrissy, can you turn that off at night when you go home or does it stay with you? Um, I have learned how to turn it off, but sometimes I do take the work home and sometimes I haven't, you know, if we do the scene maybe five, six, ten times, I'm still in that place and so there's still a lot of feeling around that and so sometimes I just end up and don't worry about it but I end up like crying on the way home or like cry, you know um, it's it's just sort of a release of those emotions and you know um, ironically gratefully I've been through some some hardships in my life that have allowed me to really delve deep into my emotions and my feelings and things that um, I'm still working through. And so, yeah, I definitely use what I know um, in each scene. And each scene, of course, requires different types of, um, of emotion and um, experiences to be drawn from. But um, as actors, you really, you got to use what you know so it's authentic. Absolutely. I mean, in the, in the most amazing sense. I mean, I found this story a few years ago while I was promoting another film I produced called Miracles from Heaven. And while I was promoting that film, I met the real family. And uh, when you hear Joyce talk about how she prayed her teenage son, John Smith, back to life, it just blow, blew me away. And uh, when we wrote the script with Grant Porte, got Roxanne Dawson to direct it. And then, you know, Chrissy Metz read it and she's like, okay, I'm in. Uh, there was no movie without her. And the thing that is amazing is that every single person that has touched this film has been riveted and transformed by what Joyce did in that emergency room. And that's why we wanted to tell the breakthrough story uh, and bring it to theaters all around the country. And Devon, as the producer of Breakthrough, was it important for you to get the Smith family, uh, their cooperation and their endorsement for this movie? Yeah, I mean, listen, they've been supported from day one. Um, the moment I heard the story, I knew that there was something unique there, but I had to talk to them more to understand where the movie was. And the more that I interviewed them, specifically Pastor Jason Noble, and he gave me so much information about the journey, uh, I really knew that there was going to be a movie here. And they've been involved every step of the way. Uh, they read drafts of the script, they gave notes, they came to set, they met Chrissy, they met the other actors. Uh, they, we've just screened the movie for them not that long ago, and they love it. They're blown away by Chrissy's performance. They're blown away by Marcel's performance, who plays John. Uh, Pastor Jason loves the fact that Topher Grace did a good job playing him. And there is no higher testament to what we are aspiring to do than the real family saying that we got it right. Forever, Breakthrough will be an eternal portrayal of them. And for them to say that, that it's accurate means the world. I have to admit, Topher Grace has incredible range. Last year, he played David Duke in, in Black Klansman. And now for Breakthrough, he plays Pastor Noble. What a range. That's range. That is range. And he does both incredibly well. So, uh, you know, we're just grateful that he said yes to us. And when you see him bring Pastor Jason Noble to life, he does it with heart, integrity, humor. And uh, he really adds just a, a, an incredible dynamic to the chemistry of the cast. Mm. And Chrissy, your co-star for Breakthrough is the incredible Josh Lucas. He just seems like the perfect father on screen. Uh, really? He really is. Yeah. And um, a really wonderful father in real life, which is so sweet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, 
sort of effortless for him, and I know he's been around for some time, but he just made it easy, and he was always so present and committed, and that's, as an actor, that's what you dream of, of, you know, having a co-star and and other actors on the project there and present with you. And now, Devon, we have new NBA sports trivia, because one of the producers of this film is the great Stephen Curry. How did that happen? (laughs) <laughs> you know, um, listen, he's my, my good friend, and uh, he wanted to get into entertainment. I've been in entertainment, you know, pretty much my entire career. And, um, you know, when we sat down and he told me what he wanted to do, I invited him to join me on Breakthrough and uh, sent him the script before we started production. He read it, and he was like, look, man, I'm, I'm in. So I said, great, you know, let's build the team. And, you know, his involvement is fantastic, and he's able to amplify the message and really help translate this message to an audience that otherwise may not find it. And uh, I'm just grateful that uh, we can partner up and bring movies like this uh, to the world. Well, congratulations on the success of the film. And when you have a chance, both of you, come out and visit us in Las Vegas, where we have more churches per capita than any other city in the country. Who knew? (laughs) Right. We'll go from from the church to... The casino. (laughs) And then go back to the church to get prayed over. (laughs) Well, hopefully they're bringing that casino money into the offering plate. (laughs) Well, thank you both and best of luck with the movie. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. you. We're not going to get through this alone. Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, I surrender. All right, for more reviews and interviews, you can surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, comment below, give me a big thumbs up. I'm Jeffrey Gay Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.